Good morning, beautiful people around the world, and welcome to Obin One Name World News Update. My name is Obu Promise, the news presenter. On our world news package this morning, Australian senator resigns after Gaza vote backlash. Senator Fatima Peman has resigned from Australia's ruling Labour Party days after voting against it to support a motion on Palestinian statehood. Labour has strict penalties for those who undermine its policy positions and Ms. Peman was already indefinitely suspended from the party's caucus after vying to do it again. This is a matter I cannot compromise on, the 29-year-old said on Thursday, adding that she was deeply torn over the decision. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said Ms. Perman had thanked him for his leadership and denied allegations she had been intimidated into quitting. Ms. Perman will now join the crossbench as an independent senator. The 29-year-old Muslim lawmaker whose family flee Afghan Afghanistan after it fell to the Taliban in 1996 is Australia's first and only hijab-wearing federal politician. Unlike my colleagues, I know how it feels to be on the receiving end of injustice. My family did not flee a war-torn country to come here as refugees for me to remain silent when I see atrocities inflicted on innocent people, she said during a press conference on her resignation. Jeff Bezos to sell another 5 billion US dollars of Amazon shares. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos says he will sell another 25 million shares in the technology giant worth nearly 5 billion US dollars. It comes after the company's stock market value hit a record high on Wednesday. In February, he announced that he will sell Amazon shares worth around 8.5 billion US dollars. That marked the first time since 2021 that Mr. Bezos had sold Amazon shares. The company's shares has risen by more than 30% this year on expectations that growing demand for artificial intelligence technology will boost earnings at its cloud computing business. Last month, Amazon's stock market value valuation topped the $2 trillion US dollars for the first time. However, that is still behind other major technology themes, Nvidia, Apple and Microsoft, all of which have crossed the 3, the 3 trillion US dollars mark. Amazon reports, reported robust quarterly earnings at the end of the April that showed the company's bet on AI was paying off. Still on the world news updates. Japan declares victory in war on floppy disk. It's taken until 2024, but Japan has finally said goodbye to floppy disks. Up until, up until last month, people were still asked to submit documents to the government using the outdated storage devices, with more than 1,000 regulations requiring its use. But these rules have now finally been scrapped, said Digital Minister Taro Kono. In 2021, Mr. Kono had declared war on floppy disk. On Wednesday, almost three years later, he announced we have won the war on floppy disk. Mr. Kono has met his goal to eliminate old technology since he was appointed to the job. He had earlier also said he would get rid of the fax machine. Once seen as a tech powerhouse, Japan has in recent years lacked in the global wave of digital transformation because of a deep resistance to change. For instance, workplaces have continued to favor fax machines over emails. Earlier plans to remove these machines from government offices were scrapped because of pushback. The announcement was widely discussed on Japanese social media with one user on X, formerly known as Twitter, calling floppy disk a symbol of an anachronistic administration. And lastly, on our world news update, India's X alternative code to shut down services. Millions of social media users in India are stranded after homegrown 
microblogging platform Co, which had branded itself as an alternative to X, announced it was shutting down services. The platform's founder said a shortage of funding along with high cost of technology had led to the decision. Launch in 2020, Co offered messaging in more than 10 Indian languages. It gained prominence in 2021 after several ministers endorsed it amid a row between the Indian government and X, which was then known as Twitter. The spat began after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government asked the US-based platform to block a list of accounts it claimed were spreading fake news. The list included journalists, news organizations and opposition politicians. X complied initially but then restored the accounts, citing insufficient justification. The face of continued as the government threatened legal action against the company's employees in India. Amid the row, a flurry of supporters, cabinet ministers and officials from Mr. Modi's Bahara Bharatiya's Janata Party BJP migrated to Co overnight. Many of them shared hashtags calling for X to be banned in India. With this, we've come to the end of our World News Update this morning. A very big thank you for listening to Obi One Name News R. Please do ensure to follow Obi One Name Media Platform to be updated anytime we come live. Please do have a lovely day. My name is Tiu. Chupu promise. Open one name news presenter from Akwaibom State. Thank you.